while I opened the box, and it was just the manual. Is that too too much information? Good morning, guys. Hi, guys. It is, let's say, Thursday. Yeah. We've been here in Maryland for a couple of days now, and I think the kind of aftermath of arriving, road tripping and then arriving, and the adrenaline and everything is kind of setting in. So it's kind of a rest day today. Yeah, I did have a fun little trip. My dad and I took Wesley my nephew to uh, the little country store that Peter and I love going to. And it was, it was really fun. chips and a coke right yep that's fun uh it's like a little general store old timey and uh look mary's wearing our new have courage sweatshirt rachel and i are matching today that's awesome yeah and uh i think ollie boy's a little <laughs> tired out from all the festivities as well so um we're just soaking up these few days with family and uh, welcome to our day. <laughs> Hi there. Hello. Mary's uh, head's hurting. She's got a bag of peas on it. <laughs> I brought this barn down because Wesley and I were playing. But he got, he got distracted by bigger and better things. Hey guys. Ollie and I are just uh, hanging out in the backyard, having a cup of coffee. Check out this mug. It's from Mary's sister's Etsy shop. Little slick on Etsy. That was not a planned promotion there, but uh, just thought I'd call it out since I'm drinking out of her mug. But Holly and I are chilling. We, Mary and I were just getting ready to actually film a video, like a sit down uh, Q and A kind of video but we're not sure if the wind is blowing too much out here to like sometimes when the wind's blowing it blows across the microphone on the camera and then you can't hear what we're saying and it takes a lot of energy to do these videos so we don't want to like film it and then put it on the computer and realize that it's not good so anyways Mary is having some coffee and had to go poop so she's in the house is that too, too much information? Hey guys, I uh, just said to Mary, I feel like I've been sitting in front of my computer screen all day long. She goes, it's because you have. I've been working on a lot of video editing today. I think I have done about six videos and that's probably like 10 hours of editing. I don't know, but it was a long day of uh, putting videos together for you guys. Stay tuned uh, for some special videos coming on our channel. But I think uh, everybody's a little worn out from the day and from yeah. the past few days. Uh, sure. 
Mary got a package in the mail. You want to tell them about your oh, package? But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, before we left for this trip, of course, before you leave for a trip, you have to get all the details in place. So I had emailed my feeding tube supplier over a week, you know, like a long time ahead, and they said they were going to send it immediately. Well, who knows if it was whatever. It didn't get sent in time. So I was like, okay, so just send it to my parents' house in Maryland. And they were like, okay, no problem. Well, it was two items. One was the gauze that I use on my feeding tube every single day. And the second item was a replacement feeding tube button. It was just time for me to get a new one to have on hand for whenever we need to change it. So anyway, I get the box and in the box was another box that the feeding tube comes in. So it has the brand on it, it's a white box, and then, you know, I heard something in it and typically it's the feeding tube. Well, the next day, so yesterday, I opened the feeding tube box and I was like, there is no feeding tube. So this is what's supposed to be inside the white box the tray with all the feeding tube. In the box is a manual and the feeding tube. Well, I opened the box and it was just the manual. There was, and I no was like, feeding tube in the feeding tube box. I was so confused and I was like, okay, maybe I forgot. Maybe I took it out and I put it in our suitcase. And I looked around and I looked around, but I knew I hadn't done that, but just to make sure. And so I emailed a picture of the empty, I mean, it just had the manual in it, box, to the supplier, and they got another one out to me. This time, it actually had a feeding tube in it, so that was good, and I got the gauze just in time because I'm, like, blowing through the gauze faster. Sometimes, my feeding tube leaks more than other times, and today, I was laying on the couch, and when I stood up, I felt something wet and like my sweatshirt, which yay, shout out to Peter ordering us sweatshirts. <laughs> my sister, my mom and I now have matching sweatshirts. Um, but anyway, my feeding tube had leaked through two gauze onto my sweatshirt. And I was like, well, I've got plenty of gauze because I got another shipment of gauze. So there you um, go. And so even when you think you're planning ahead, Sometimes yep. they don't ship it when they say they're going to. Mm. Mm. But it all worked out. Yeah. And did you say the reason why you had, wanted to have a feeding tube with you on the trip? Well, I always have to have an extra one. Yeah, just in case. Which I did bring an extra one. But this one was an extra extra. Just in case, just in case. For the replacement. Uh, well, no, I, wouldn't, was... I wouldn't have brought two, but I know. it's fine. But... Um, but yeah, you, I mean, my team at least said anytime, not anytime you leave the house, but anytime you go on a trip, bring an extra feeding tube with you. And, um. Just in case something, you know, it could get yanked out and you don't want the hole to close back up because yeah. then you'd have to get surgery again. And so. we all know how that went. Well. I did it. Yep. It wasn't fun. Two years ago. Well, guys, thanks for coming on our day today, and as always, as always, we we'll will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night.